Johnny Irwin of A Place in the Sun tragically passed away at the age of 50 from lung cancer, his wife Jessica Holmes revealed in a tearful obituary on Friday, with whom she shares boys Rex, 5, and twins Rafa and Cormac, 2. Jessica posted a really stunning picture of her beloved boyfriend on Instagram. TV host Johnny first received a cancer diagnosis in 2020, and in November, he disclosed that the disease had moved to his brain. He died on Friday. The memorial, which included a cute photo of her and Johnny, said, We share the news of Johnny's passing with heavy hearts. A genuinely amazing man, he courageously battled cancer with unrelenting tenacity and bravery. Johnny's warmth, friendliness, and contagious spirit touched the lives of so many. We respectfully request that Johnny's family be given privacy at this time, as they deal with this tragic loss. Your prayers, support, and thoughts are greatly appreciated. Their pain is indescribable. Let's celebrate a life well lived and a legacy that will live on in our hearts forever, as we recall the wonderful times spent with Johnny. Even though Johnny is no longer in our physical presence, his love, humor, and memories will endure. Peace be with you, Johnny. We shall remember you always, but with great sadness. Later, Jessica shared a photo of her late husband grinning on her own account and admitted that she wished this terrible day would never arrive. Good night, my favorite, she wrote. I appreciate everything that you have done. You have my undying love. I prayed that today, the hardest day, wouldn't arrive. I must say with all the grief in the world, that Johnny passed away this morning. His miraculous mind, which persisted in fighting to the very end, has now fallen asleep. He has given me three incredible boys, and eight crazy years of love and adventure more than I could have ever asked for. Me and the boys still need you, and I will make you proud for the rest of our lives, but only if your love finds me and leads me. Johnny, you were truly the most attractive man I have ever met. I am so sorry that your life ended so cruelly. You truly didn't deserve any of this, and it wasn't fair at all. I have never witnessed anything like the impact you had on people you devoted so much of your time to others, and touched everyone you came into contact with. I will always be proud of you and I'll love you very much, xxx. Jasmine Harmon, Johnny's former co-presenter on A Place in the Sun, led the tributes and posted some moving remarks on social media. Posting a photo of them gazing off into the twilight, she wrote, Johnny Irwin I will never forget the moment I heard your name for the first time. We definitely want Johnny, but we need to find another presenter, they remarked to me during a screen test for a new program. I pondered the identity of this enigmatic Johnny. When we were filming the pilot, we met in Cape Town. You exudes charm, energy, confidence, and enjoyment. I instantly saw why they were in need of you. Your mischievous sense of humor and cheeky chappy demeanor always cracked the ice and made people laugh. You had a remarkable capacity to connect with people and make them feel as though they had known you for years. Everyone warmed up to you. I will always be appreciative of the joy and privilege it was for us to start our TV careers together. We had no idea the adventure we were about to go on or the friends we would make nearly 20 years ago when we were to nervous new presenters. You were a professional who belonged in front of the camera. However, you've been talking about wanting to settle down and have children for years. When you encountered Jess, your wish came true. You are a legend you were never happier than when you were the husband and father of the three most amazing lads. Simply said, life is unfair. It defies reason there are no satisfactory solutions to the inquiry why. In your memory, we can learn to treasure each embrace, each discussion, and each moment for the incredibly valuable time we have left together. Never take anything for granted since you never know what the future holds. Instead, cherish each breath and every dawn and sunset. Johnny, over our time together as co-workers and close friends, you have taught me so much. I have never respected you more than I have in the last several years, as you have fought cancer head-on with optimism, tenacity, and bloodthirstiness. I've never met someone with your level of strength. You have made us all proud, including yourself and your loved ones. Even if the world seems a little gloomier without you now, I will always be happy to think about you.
Johnny, my co-presenter from the beginning, you will be missed. Nikki Chapman, a fellow television presenter, also honored Johnny. The host of Wanted Down Under wrote, heartbroken, in the comments area beneath Jessica's article. Love and blessings to Jess and her family. Sonali Shah, a former host of Escape to the Country, added, I feel so lucky to have known Johnny. Love and light to you, XXX. According to Robin Swerth, head of BBC, Daytime, and Early Peak Commissioning, Johnny Irwin was a remarkable individual and an amazing broadcaster. His warmth and funfulness were so evident in Escape to the Country, where he quickly became a favorite among both the production staff and the audience. More recently, he tackled taboos around end of life care in some incredibly uplifting reports for Morning Live all the while brilliantly showcasing the boundless positivity he brought to everything he did. Everyone he worked with will greatly miss his kindness, and we are sending our condolences to his family and friends during this difficult time. The news about Johnny saddens us greatly, stated John Comerford, head of Naked West and executive producer, Escape to the Country. He will be sorely missed by our production crew, as well as by all of the fans, who have enjoyed seeing him on Escape to the country for the past 14 years. He has been the show's central figure. Johnny was witty, kind, and humorous. She always had a witty and perceptive remark to share, and she made the program's contributors feel comfortable. He was adored by every team he worked with. The Escape family is inconsolable over his passing. We are sending Jess and his lovely boys our deepest sympathies and love. Johnny provided an update on his health from the hospital in his latest social media post from last month, during which he disclosed that he hadn't slept for six nights straight. The host was getting a full body MRI at Newcastle's Freeman Hospital, and he appeared worn out. He posted a photo of himself on Instagram from the hospital, expressing his fear of the claustrophobic nature of the scan. This looks like a man who hasn't slept in six nights and is waiting for a full body MRI scan that will take at least an hour, Johnny remarked. They emit loud, unpredictable noises and are claustrophobic if you haven't experienced one. Joy. Watch out for this effort at a jaunty, not on my dress. I look forward hearing about India's entire 195. News. In November, Johnny celebrated his 50th birthday. Two years prior, the doctors had given him six months to live. Johnny said he felt really privileged to reach this milestone. Along with his spouse Jessica and their sons, the TV host celebrated the event in Costa del Sol. He disclosed that he threw a birthday celebration previous to the occasion since he didn't think he'd make it. I feel really privileged to be able to celebrate my birthday looking at blue skies and with sand between my toes, he remarked in an interview with Hello. Since I didn't think I'd make it, I had an early birthday celebration at the beginning of the year. There was a lot of dancing and fun, just as when I was at my own wake. However, here I am. I consider it a total victory. Johnny continued by saying that his potentially fatal disease had made him truly appreciate each day. Every little thing is so significant to me, even kicking the ball against the wall for half an hour, he told the outlet. Being away from home for my 50th birthday with my wife and children is wonderful and very special. After a lung tumor advanced to his brain, the broadcaster was given a terminal cancer diagnosis nevertheless. He was discharged from the hospital as his liver function began to improve. He was being watched every four hours in November after experiencing fever, jaundice, and discomfort in his right side. However, he was eventually discharged. Johnny posted a picture of himself and his son Rex on Instagram on New Year's Day, only weeks before he passed away from cancer. With Rex perched on his lap, savoring a slice of Bakewell tart, the TV personality could be seen grinning at the camera. Just the three portions of homemade Bakewell tart for the lad, he wrote. The broadcaster kept his cancer illness a secret for two years, until going public with it in 2022. While filming a place in the sun in Italy, the TV host started to notice weird gold spots while driving. He was driven directly to the hospital by a concerned crew member in the automobile, where he was informed that he had nodules all over his brain. Johnny flew directly back to the United 
kingdom, and visited a hospital. I was told I had cancer within a few hours, he remarked. And I replied, right? A few hours later, I was sitting with my good buddy Rahul when they informed me that my cancer was terminal and that I only had six months to live. Has the expression it knocked the wind out of you ever occurred to you? It was the first time something had ever done that to me. I just got beat up. The father of three, unable to process the news, and facing the difficult task of telling his wife Jessica, walked home in a trance. Johnny sobbed, I didn't think I was shakable like that. I was quite disturbed. The toughest thing I've ever had to do was tell my wife when I had to go home. How do you inform a mother who gave birth to twins just two months ago? How do you break the news to them that you won't be around any longer? It seems like it happened yesterday. After brain therapy, I no longer have memories, but that horrible memory still resides in my head. I only remember giving her a hug and saying, I'm sorry, and I still feel bad. After weeks of testing and negative news, Johnny was handed a 2-3 to year lifeline until the physicians discovered a mutation in his cancer. Pay the bills was Johnny's explanation for concealing his cancer battle for two years. I only kept it a secret because I have to earn money to pay the bills and feed my babies, he stated. When you disclose that you have cancer, people tend to disregard you. It was something I had to keep a secret. Living under such a large cloud and appearing to be normal to everyone else was incredibly hard. I had the ability to work for the first 1.5 years. Regretfully, one of the companies declined to extend my contract on the grounds that they couldn't provide insurance. My income was severely disrupted by it. I had the impression that I had been abandoned. Within a week of their hiring, I could picture someone else performing my duties. A place in the sun paid me for the rest of the season but didn't renew my contract, he said to the sun after disclosing his illness. They were aware of my desire to go on. That was painful. My heart hurt at it. When contacted for response, Channel 4 stated that they had tried everything to find a way to keep Johnny, but they had been unable to obtain insurance at the time. The presenter stated that he chose to disclose his terminal condition when he was dodging picture, shoots, and posting selfies with admirers. It was the day I decided to tell the world and I just thought I might get some money for the family, he stated. It has lifted a tremendous burden off my shoulders. I started living anew the day I came out and told the world I had terminal cancer. I once again became Johnny Irwin. I genuinely sense my existence.